We are back, uh, yet again, another episode of Reconstructing the World. And today I'm here with my buddy, my pal on Reconstructing the World, most sustainable architect in the world, Anas Lenaer. Hello. Oh. So nice to see you again. It's so nice. Part of being sustainable to, is also showing emotions. And that's what I did there. We have to show love. Anas, we're back. Yes. And as you can see, the Stop camera can see, the, the building is going well. Three is, is rising. Yes. Yes. So yes. today, yes. what are we going to talk about now? Because now we're inside, yeah. right? Yeah. Now the inside of your vision is being planned. Yes. And one thing that you can notice and maybe hear right now is that there is a lot of sound. Yeah. And uh, sound is a, a very big part of the city. Noise Ooh, is basically... Listen, I know where you're going. Nice, nice segue. <laughs> I didn't think about that. You are now a pro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so the problem is when you do uh, an office building, yeah. then you want people to be able to concentrate and uh, basically real bad noise can lead to sicknesses and stress and all these symptoms. Yeah. So um, to make the best possible work environment, we need to have some acoustic material that absorbs noise, both and that, from and the inside. And that now? That's now? That starts now. That's what you're putting we, into we the building. We start planning now, and of course, when we, when we designed the building and do all the drawings, yeah. we had to make some conscious choices about what materials was possible to use for acoustic uh, purpose. Okay, so, and, and, and normally, acoustic materials is not sustainable at all. But can you show me? So these clamps up here, yeah. So are they are they so, uh, are they somehow for the acoustics? Yes. This is uh, this is kind of a, the the first steel pieces that's going to hold uh, some wood pieces. Yeah. Um, some studs where you can mount the acoustic material in. Okay. And so um, most acoustic material. Yeah is actually made out of material you also would use for acoustic uh, sorry for insulation purposes outside of the building As a, so minimally wool. like mineral wool stone that's been melted or glass Ooh. that's been melted that takes a lot of energy Sounds and of course super unsustainable it's unsustainable because it's it's so much energy yeah. that you put into a material that needs to absorb uh, an acoustic purpose and the reason why we've been doing that for so long and, and that it's actually a product is because of fire. So one of the things is that it's not allowed to burn. Ah, okay. So that's why these, uh, these types of materials has been kind of uh, very popular to use. And, uh, and in this case, we need to do something different. Okay, so, so as we have established in, uh, you know, in the facade episode, you need Due to uh, uh, fire regulation, you need to put in uh, 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 normal insulation here, right? Yes. But on on top of that, and in the ceilings, you have come up with another idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so this this you see here is uh, this is glass wool. Yeah. And we were not allowed to use anything else than that for uh, for the insulation of the building because of fire. So we so hope this is in going the to be closed. In the future, we hope that regulators will uh, come up to uh, uh, approve that we can use uh, preferably uh, some uh, uh, recycled material or wood material yeah. or whatever, right? And I think, I really think, Anas, yeah. that we... I, I can see you thinking. We should have an episode on fire. Yeah, we should have a fire because, episode. Because it's, I mean, the first three months we were only drawing escape routes and uh, calls to protect yeah. Uh, and do the right infrastructure yeah. with the engineers for fire. So it's some really cool people. I'm thinking, I think uh, we should talk with them. I'm thinking, uh, actually, you should have been thinking in teleportation. Like a teleport, so you go into a teleportation and fire is there and like you go, boom, you're gonna beam into safety. You came up with something different. We came up with something different. Yeah. So um, we looked at some uh, different uh, waste streams that is out there in the consumer waste uh, yeah. industry, yeah. or the consumer industry that becomes waste. And there's two super food, big food, streams. Food waste. Food and, uh, <laughs> and waste waste and textile waste. And what is waste waste? That's when it's really bad. That's, that's poo, poo waste. That, so you went, up that, you aborted that plan. There was a 
there was a, there was just yeah. a wrong formulation. I can't I, really I can't help apologize. myself, but there's no poo insulation in the building whatsoever. I just want to emphasize that. Don't take that information. It could make be it, organic waste. Make actually. it <laughs> okay. Okay, fuck it. What did you come up with? We we uh, we looked at two types. Okay. So one thing is textile waste. That's this. And there is and there is insane amount of textile waste. There's uh, 5.8 billion tons of textile waste. Yeah, keep going. I'm just doing television where I show something different. I just have to be sure. It's 5.8 million tons of. We have to take that again. Normally, it's getting recycled into uh, other textiles, <laughs> and it needs to be clean in the fraction, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. The problem is that a lot of this textile is just incinerated. Yeah. And um, these textile fractions, they come from industries and they also come from fashion. So the interesting part here was... Directly from fashion. So from fashion to designers waste. Designers and fashion should be incinerated. No, I didn't mean that, but you know what I mean. It, we, okay, so that you, would lower the carbon footprint that would really, a lot. Really. Take every fashion person, either incinerate them it's a very, 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 very. I know or, we're gonna or shred them. I know, I know we're gonna get so much. Uh, and you would get this. Yeah, we'll get so much in trouble for this, but but we will keep it in there. That's the that's the different uh, colored pieces. Yeah. There's a, a green Can you uh, see fashion designer, designer in there. There's a pink this fashion. Is a, this is a very, very unsustainable designer in there being shredded. First dried and then whatever. Let's keep on track. You came up with a different idea. So some years ago, we we thought that. What if we could take threaded textile and uh, and put it together, compress it, yeah. and try to make a, a firm bat like this? This is yeah. a bat, and uh, it was super super difficult. First of all, how to make it stable that it wouldn't be sloppy? How to get things to hang together? Yeah. And over some years in the development, we actually managed to do a product that is all types of textile. You know from cotton to more you know yeah. plastic uh, textiles and so on mixed together and actually do a product out of it and just emphasize that we are talking about materials that are ultra fast uh, uh, fashion normally short cheap life. fashion short life uh, composite materials that are you can't split into uh, new fractions yes right yes so either you're working with materials that are either incinerated yes. or you should come up with this, right? Exactly. Okay. But the interesting thing here is that by using this material, we can recycle three kilos of textile per square meter, ah. which means that that's quite a lot, especially in a building like this, where we have uh, 14,000 square meters um, of footprint. Yeah. And when you look at the acoustic, uh, acoustic surface you need, you actually need all the walls here and the ceiling. So it's, it's even more than our floor area that you need as acoustic uh, material. Yeah. That means if you could reduce or find a material that has a way lower CO2 impact than yeah. the normal uh, mineral wool acoustic material, you're really saving CO2. Yeah. And you need, so to, you need to start walk. Why are you saying that? Because either we'll be standing in the same place and we'll really boring television. That's, that's why uh, I'm going over here. Next level of YouTubing. Yeah. So, okay. So, these here facades yeah. will be covered with first um, some fire protective gypsum, and then it's going to have acoustic material, and then a recycled uh, panel. Yes, Anas. You're super quick. So this is a material that again, made again, it's a, it's a company that are doing these products now. Um, and they've been pushing this development really far. There's also others doing these acoustic uh, materials yeah. out of textile, yeah. because it is really a product that makes sense to use. The problem for us in this building is that it's an 80 meter high building, 78 meters high building yeah, out yeah. of wood. So fire legislation here is extremely tough. And we couldn't get this approved because we needed to put way too much chemistry into this product for okay, it to be fireproofed. Okay. So we said, no, thank you. We'll try something different. Okay, okay so um, what could we then do? Because we were um, looking for a really price 
uh, uh, effective product yeah, yeah. at the same time because acoustic material is super cheap. Yeah. So what to do? And um, we were up against a benchmark product, which is a cement-based sheet, which is a which is a product where you behind it also need to have mineral wool. So yeah, you actually have yeah. two products to live up to these standards. Two layers two of layers melting of things stone. that we don't want to do. Yeah. Instead, we could just have this product. And this is uh, made out of uh, PET material? This uh, is plastic. So this is waste plastic. And um, waste plastic from, uh, you know, from uh, plastic bottles. And, and, and just a minute, before you go apeshit in the comment, that, you know, bottles should be bottled, which we all agree on. We, 100%. we actually like clean fractions. Just to correct on us, this is dirty fractions. This is yes. mixed together of all kinds of shit. Right. Mixed of all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah. The fact of the matter is that we have so much plastic waste from industries from all over the world. And yeah. most of these things are just ending up smashed together and not being able to reuse in a, in a as you say, a clean fraction. Yeah. So what do you do with it? You can shred it and you can put it together and make these types of uh, ultra light, but also very firm uh, acoustic bats. Yeah, and, and to, just to emphasize, this is plastic that you either don't know what to do with or you incinerate it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so it has absolutely no, no recycle value until this is a material that you use all the time, right? The cool thing about this, most of these recycled uh, uh, PP and PET yeah. products we talk about, they have to be first uh, shredded, cleaned in bats only of their own type of yeah, materiality. Yeah. And then you create uh, pellets out of it so you can yeah. recast with it. Yeah. In this case, you can shred it and Watch weave out. it together. And, it, and then it turns out to this, right? So this is, this is an example of one of the big bats, right? Yes. This is one that, yet again, I'm not, I have not perfected my montage uh, method. You're almost tall enough. If the camera yeah. goes down, it really looks like yeah. he is he's holding so the ceiling this is getting we just need the right this is getting mon, mon, this is getting uh, uh, you put some some recycled studs up there it's going to be i don't know if it's going to be recycled but it's going to be uh, wood studs or or kind of um, uh, uh, wood studs instead of steel uh, screwed and montaged into the, the these small uh, steel brackets and it has it's really it's really firm huh it's very firm. And um, basically on the facades, it's only the wood holding it uh, against the, the gypsum. You know, <laughs> do you know the impulse of throwing things out in the world? Like if there's an open window and you have something light, you want to see how far can this fly. But it's honest, uh, as always, I love you and I, I care a lot about you, but um, what about the money? What about the economy? Yeah. <laughs> what about the economy? Is it, is it like... It's a, it's a very good and important question. And I will tell you one thing. This guy really surprised us a lot. Because... Uh, me? What, me or somebody else? The guy who made I'm this? I'm pointing to like under you. So this guy? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> no, that, no. Guy, that guy surprised me a lot. That's a totally the, different show. You can check it out. It's on Pornhub. What really surprised us a lot here was that they were a lot cheaper than the normal choice of acoustic ceiling. Because when you have yeah. a cement board yeah. and then you have a mineral board on top or yeah. that, and a mounting system, then it's way more expensive than just using this directly up here. Yeah. So I think for us that was a, a eye-opening that so you could you're actually is use is, a lot this of is cheaper. This is cheaper. This is cheaper than the normal acoustic mounting. We'll put a big sign saying this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer of reusing a lot of waste plastic for a really wonderful purpose. And it's also really nice. So it's, it's beautiful. But, but, but is, it, is it already cost-neutral before it's going to big production? This this, this this is actually a product that is in a 
pretty big uh, production. Okay, so okay. the cool thing is here that it's been in the market for some years. Okay. Been used for different types of purposes, print on top and so on. And all of a sudden, it's a it's a scaled product that did, can compete. Did you make? Did you develop? No, it? we only made the acoustic, uh, the the textile boards. Okay. But so together, these were before. Together with the person who made this. No, it's two different. Uh, okay. But they are sold. I'm the same really place. trying to give you some kind of credit yeah, for this. No, I can't take credit. You're taking all the good points. So I'm okay, taking so this. Okay, then I'm taking it. this very good point. So Anas, normally this kind of plastic gets incinerated, right? Yeah, and we are and we are not doing it in this house. You wanted to say that You're I can right. see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's so a good point. That's a good point. So You're right. This is one of those examples where you, most sustainable architect in the world, take a material and, and that you find you use the time to find it, and then you replace it with something that is standard, kind of in the buildings. We we end up in a meeting with a client and a contractor and engineers, everyone yeah. talking about this. First, it feels not right to choose this because we have to do as we normally do. We don't know if it's cheaper or more expensive, is if it performs good enough. But in this case, we asked enough, enough questions, so we tried it and it worked and it was not even more expensive. It was actually smarter to mount in the ceiling here on the walls and it performed wonderful. So that's why we have that product. It's exact, look, can we get, uh, stay, 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 look at this. It's the biggest beard I've seen in my life. How did you cut your beard like that? Is, it, is, my, is my beard being cut? This is a very stupid okay. joke. If we, if we cut it like I that, have a then, okay, then so he's, he's ready. We, are, for, we have uh, reached the time the limit December, where December the amount uh, of stupid jokes is, uh, is overshadowing the point <laughs> of this program. But just for, um, again, I need to say it, and I hope that we can inspire a lot of people to use this. Because yes. the, the, as, as, as you have seen through the program, we have put on various facts about the plastic industry, various fa facts about these fractions. And yeah, great focus. What is that? Plastic that can be ah. made to this. It's and everywhere. That is, it, that is, that is just uh, here, plastic here. It's everywhere. Yeah. And in the, when we build, there is just so much of this uh, waste coming from just building a building and uh, industries, and that's the plastic that we are also using. Oh, I know this is not this is not PET, but it's the type of plastics that we can we can uh, um, redesign and create new products from. We so it's everywhere. This is a, a pretty crazy fact. That uh, <laughs> it need to be fucking crazy. Yes, if you put it, it, it is. Up a, like that. It is pretty crazy. When uh, when we build buildings. And we between, do. and we do, between six to ten percent of all the new materials that comes into a building site yeah. turns out to be waste. New products. Between six to ten percent of all the new materials that comes into a building site yeah. turns out to be waste. New products. So one. Like every tenth building could have been built yeah. out of waste from another yeah. site. And so, here, so that's just to say your point exactly yeah. that controlling the waste streams and materials going in, yeah. circulating them is extremely important. Okay, it's so not a joke. I, I'm not taking it as a joke at all. I'm really taking it serious. But I'm also thinking that we need to wrap this episode yeah. up. Okay. Right? We need to emphasize in this program, reconstructing the world, that we know that. Building is not sustainable in itself. Building a new building is not sustainable. We totally know that. What we should prioritize is renovating first, and then if you need to build a building new, do it as sustainable as possible. That's what we want this program to be, right? Yes. And I will now, and this is acoustic material, so it needs to be sound absorbing. And I think we should do a final test. Are you ready for it? Yeah. And, and so you stand there. And then I'll do a test. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? If this really works, yeah. you should not be able to hear what I'm saying about you now. Are you ready? Anas is not that sustainable. Did you hear that? No. Okay, great. Thank you. See you in another episode.
remember all this crazy shit about subscribing, liking, sharing it, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill.